Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 37 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. So there you can see in this system, we have a thin ring, right? The radius is given, we write it as 0 0.12 meter. And then we can see for this ring carries a uniform distributed charge Q. So this one we consider this is capital Q distributed on this ring. And at the center, we can see we have a small spherical object. The mass is given and the charge is given at there, right? And it, it just put at the center. So now we give a very small push. So it will move to the next location, just along the ring's axis, just at the x axis. This is y, right? Now ask you how fast will this spherical object be moving when it reaches to this location where it's just 2 meters from the center. So in this case, we can see energy is conserved, right? So we can see the initial energy must equal to final energy, right? So now we can calculate the initial energy. We can see that initially this spherical object just put at the center. This spherical object is stationary. So that means the kinetic energy is zero. So we only need to care about the potential energy. The potential energy comes from the electric potential energy, right? As we know, electric potential energy is a charge times the potential. Now, can you find the potential as a center? Yes. This electric potential just comes from the charges on this ring. Agree? And this is one of examples we learned in textbook. You can find the potential at the center from the ring by using this integrals, right? So we consider a small fraction of the charge dq plus, right? And it a potential on this center. So divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and times r, r is the radius, the distance from the this small fraction of charge to the center, right? And then we do integral, we find the total charge is just a capital Q. And in this way, we can find the potential uh, on, in the center by these uh, charges on these uh, uniform rings. In this way, you can get the electrical potential at initial is, uh, this, uh, in this equation, right? Just use charge times the potential there. The next one, can you find the final energy? Yes, as we talk about, uh, we give it a small fresh, then this uh, charge reaches to this location, right? At this location, you can see the kinetic energy is one half mv squared because we need to find how fast. That means this uh, v, we need to find it. And then can you find its potential energy? Yes, we still use the charge times the potential. So can you find the potential at this location? Sure, we use the integrals, right? So we can see, we consider a small fraction on this ring. And now the potential from this small fraction of charge at this location. So we use the dq plus. This is the small fraction of charge divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. And then the distance from this charge to the location is just this one. Agree? Yes. So we input it inside, do the integral. And then we get the function look like this one. So the final potential energy is use the charge times its potential. So look like this function. Now you can see we get the initial energy, right? The initial kinetic energy, initial potential energy, and the final kinetic energy, final potential energy. And then energy conserved. So we input them in this function. And then we can write we convert these functions, get the function for velocity v, input all the known quantity, you get the answer there. Thank you.